Hey, it's Jeremy Bowers over here at Coal Bank Preferred. What does your business resemble this telephone pole? So if you want to take a telephone pole down, you have to chop at the same spot constantly to knock it down. You can chop here, you can chop here, you can chop here, and what happens is you don't make a direct impact because you don't keep on chomping at the same way. Let's talk about your plans, your business in 2016, and let's talk about 2017. If you are not happy with your 2016 plan, I have a packet that I can give to you free, I don't care where you work, that allows you to review your 2016 numbers and see where you did well, what you need work on. 2017, we gotta talk about your plans. But in 2016, where did you get your business, your lead generation business? Door knocking, open houses, phone calls, postcards, online advertising. Where did you get your business? Business partners? What I found most people got really successful in is real estate development with contractors, open houses. They got um, their business from their center of influence. And I'm gonna do a video here in a little bit on your center of influence, what you can do to help your center of influence more and to get more referrals from your center of influence about appreciation parties. And I wanna do a quick video on that next. But look at your business in 2016. Focus on lead generation first. Where did you make a direct impact and just kept on chipping away, chipping away, chipping away all year? The second thing is on your systems. What did you do system-wise to do the same thing? Systems, what I found in 2016, people who used a notebook, old school, a notebook, and each week kept track of their sales calls, contacts, appointment sets, separated their personal dues and their business to-dos, did a really good job at the, my famous F word, focus. On the left-hand side of that book, they should have their voicemails, if they're in real estate development, their projects, long-term, short-term goals. See, the biggest challenge in real estate in 2016 and every other market is, is getting really good at one thing and just killing it, crushing it, dominating it. And the question I have is, what did you do in 2016 you did? If you did it, let's take it to another level. If you didn't, let's talk about why you didn't. The third bucket is skills. What did you do daily or weekly to work on your skills? I found that people that focus on their skills 15 minutes a day and got really good at objection healers are the ones that did really, really well in the sense of changing the game of their business. Many people don't work on their skills. I'm cool with that. They get their business from lead generation, relationships. I understand that. But the people that change their game the most typically had to work on that bucket with the systems and lead generation. Last is mindset. That is a big challenge in our world and everybody's world. We have ups and downs. I call it the entrepreneurial roller coaster. Darren Hardy wrote a book about it. What are you doing to get in an atmosphere that has a more consistent approach to that model of positive atmosphere, positive lead generation? Let me ask you a question. Mindset wise, do you get a text at 7 a.m. It's positive from your uh, mentor or your manager? Do you, are you on a WhatsApp app group that you're actually interacting with other people on a positive daily manner and actually saying, who wants a door knock this week? Who wants a lead generate? Who wants to put a Facebook ad together? Do you have that type of support? If you don't, we need to talk. And my bonus tip of the day, if you want to read a great book, Simon Sinek, Start With Why. That is one of the best books you could read for your mindset. I hope that helps. I got plenty of more information, but I wanted to review your 2016. And if you wanna talk about 2017, I got some more videos coming out on that. Have a great day. Hit me up if you need me, 215-370-9107. And if you want any free packets I talked about, send me a message. Thanks.